entire school with the supreme personality of Godhead. This spiritual spark got ejected from that kid's school and it began floating in the ether. And this went on till one day this spirit spark got attracted towards the material universe that is Lord, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, inferior energy. This spirit spark, which is only qualitatively superior to the material universe, began thinking that as it is a part of the superior energy <coughs> of Godhead and the material world is the inferior energy of Godhead, this spirit spark can lord it over the material world. When this spirit spark begins thinking so, it comes and gets attracted to the material world. As soon as it gets attracted to this material world, it becomes a soul. That is, the spirit spark ceases to be a spark and it becomes a soul. When this soul comes closer and gets in touch with the material world, the irritated material world begins enveloping or binding this soul with four layers of material body. These layers are as follows. The first layer is called causal intelligence. The second is called astral mind of feelings and emotions. The third body layer is called that of etheric senses being five in number. And the fourth becomes what is known as the gross body. This gross body is the front of the soul which is directly inside or is part of this material world in the sense that this spirit part which had now become a soul is identified by that particular gross body in that particular birth. In other words, an infinite chain of birth and death begins for a soul as soon as, soon as it gets enveloped by these four layers of material body. When this soul is identified in a particular birth inside this material world, this identification is as per this very gross body. Thus, a cell, an amoeba, algae, insect, worm, shrub, weed, trees, reptiles, animals, bees, human beings, all are identified by their respective gross bodies for a particular birth in this material world. We must understand this 
before proceeding further. These four layers of material body are made up of five elements of the material world. The first, the second and the third that is first fossil intelligence, second astral mind and third etheric senses. All these are made up of different varieties of ether and hence they are subtle in appearances. Though there are these layers in a soul, they cannot be seen by the gross body's naked eye. The fourth is this gross body. This gross body is made up of four elements. These four are air, fire, water and earth. In other words, these four elements are only extensions of the first element that is the ether. Actually, this ether is the real element. However, the ether brought out air, the air brought out fire, the fire brought out water and the water brought out earth. These four elements joined together to form what is known as this gross body which a living entity is identified with. What is a living entity? One, this soul is thus enveloped by four bodies for one particular birth, that is, the four layers of which three are subtle and only the fourth, that is the gross, changes birth after birth, death after death for a particular soul. This complete capsule is known as living entity. I would hasten to remind you that in every soul's life, the first three remain with the soul, birth after birth, death after death. However, the fourth gross body keeps changing according to the destiny, karma and evolvement of that particular capsule. Hence, when this gross body becomes the fourth layer for that soul, the soul ceases to be a soul. It becomes a living entity in this material world. We shall concentrate on these material bodies before proceeding towards the spiritual side of one particular soul or spirit path. But before that, we must understand the material side of this soul which has now become a living entity. Kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this particular matter. Please give me your own expert views, opinions,
in ideas and thoughts so that I may keep reminding you of my other videos and also blend your own opinions with mine for the sake of this society. Before concluding, let me remind you that I am a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. Till we meet in my next video, it is